smell of gunpowder in the morning. But before we continue, a quick shout out to the amazing sponsor of this video. The one and only Raid Shadow Legends is back with a lot more events and content. With the latest update, they added one of the biggest features ever, the Curse City. Players will need to clear tons of challenging stages of different types across 4 districts to hunt down 3 Eclipse Keys. Once you have them, you can head to the final room, which you will have to face against the ultimate boss, Amius, the Lunar Archon. You can choose your own path for exploring the city. And if you manage to clear this, there will be tons of amazing rewards that will definitely help upgrade your squad. And since this is the holiday season, Ray is also celebrating it with a new Christmas story, a special holiday theme event. There are many games to solve and also the chance to win both in-game and real-life prizes. Just head to this link to check out more about this event. There are also tournaments, summon boost and other surprises with a month-long Yuletide Titan event. If you are a new player, you can click my link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen to get two epic heroes for free. The epic champion Light Sworn. And once you hit level 4, you will get the epic boss killer, Juliana. Also, I just made a new clan, so if you are interested, you can join my clan as well. Hey guys, here we have a very interesting scenario. As you saw from the intro, in the previous match, I had a pretty decent Yi Song Xing on my team. We won pretty convincingly. Once I saw that the opponents first picked Yi Song Xing right away, I was almost certain that it was the same Yi Song Xing from the previous match. I knew right there we will have a very interesting game ahead of us. Anyway, in this match, I was planning to play the revamp Veil, but since nobody from my team wants to play the Roman role, I decided to just adjust in the end. Till the enemy reaches the battlefield. Smash them! Request backup! All troops deployed! Here, I wanted to gain the XP lane first, because most of the time that will catch their fighter by surprise and he will end up being a super early first blood. Unfortunately, our Dyroth wasn't on the same page. I was actually quite surprised that I was landing these hooks because it's been a few months since the last time I have played Franco. I want to see if I could reach level 4 first by taking this minion wave and then help contest the turtle. But it probably would not have been enough, so I just went to help right away. Or Maximus roaming like she's the mage. This is the moment I realized that the only one I could probably rely on is our jungler Alice. Was that an Osa moment or auto aim is OP? Yay! 
It seems like once you have been a professional hooker, you will always be. No matter how long you haven't done so. Not gonna lie, I was also a bit surprised that I was landing all these hooks. I think my brain was a bit sharper in this match because I knew that if I didn't bring my A game, we will be in some trouble because they got a pretty decent YAS on the other side. Oh man, Benetta blocked that hook, he was aimed directly at YSS. Anyway, I know how low his HP was, so I wanted to be a pest and see if I could deny his buff or potentially kill him. Nice, got the buff. When your roamer can be so proactive and make plays like this, more often than not, you will have a super smooth game. Let's see if I can kill their YSS first. Vexana thought I was the enemy. She even convinced me we are not allies. I tried to sidestep her skills. XT. Anyway, individually I was doing quite okay, but the game is really far from over. Since I'm playing as the roamer, no matter how well I land those hooks in the late game, I will still need to rely on my team to deal damage. Even though I don't have my ult, he probably doesn't know that. So just by going closer to him, I might be able to scare him away. Look at where I am aiming my hook. How did I even miss? This BS. Tank sacrifices life for the greater good. Good job, Tank. I'm not gonna ult right away. I will wait for my allies to get closer first. His movement is not bad, but it's okay, one day I will get him. This Argus is gonna be a huge problem in the late game. He hurts a lot. Pretty smart of them, but we are being distracted. 
they took that chance to take the Lord. Demons are back enough, I need to do the same. As the roamer, you constantly have to check your ally's positioning, so you will know if it's a good idea to pursue or not. Honestly, it does seems like they have a better late game than ours. I saw that our dire was coming. So I decided to go for the kill. He made a U-turn, smiley face. Another intense match. Even though the score says we are ahead, in reality, they definitely have the upper hand. They are good. Once they saw that our jungler went me to clear the wave, they immediately start killing the Lord. I was planning to go in, but then I look at the map and I saw that my teammates were in no position to engage. Our Alice is low in HP, so she doesn't want to fight, that's why I'm not gonna ult here. We really gotta watch out for the split push. It seems like that's what they're going for. Our Darif is in good position. I will try to flank YSS and see if we can get him together. The side mission has been accomplished. Killing Yi Songxing was one of the checklists in this match. Holy cow, Argus really hurts. Tough game. Take you, 
I need to start making some miracle plays. If we can kill their marksman here, that will be it. Nice, they are all dead. We can just push mid and end this. Layla? Not gonna say anything about Alice because she did so well throughout the entire game. This was a pretty close game, even though the score doesn't seem to reflect that. Anyway, that's all for now, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching, see ya.